Hi, my name is Laura Kim Joyner of One Earth Conservation and Ministry, and today's video shows how we practice nurturing on the conservationist way. To nurture ourselves, we practice methods that will take care of us and support us so that we can embrace reality, see the beauty in the midst of loss and tragedy, and go forth ever stronger into the world, nurturing others. We do these practices on a regular basis to prepare ourselves for challenging situations and also to use during these situations. The practice for today is a chant adapted from the Zuni Pueblo people. I use it every day at home and also found myself spontaneously singing it recently in Honduras. I was in the La Mesquito area working with the indigenous people and we had been receiving discouraging news. The endangered scarlet macaw, the national bird of Honduras, was in an even worse trouble this year. Most of the nests we were studying had been poached. People take the young chicks from their nests and their families so they can sell them for pets in the illegal wildlife trade. They've been doing this for hundreds of years and this practice takes its toll on the birds. So many birds don't survive being taken from the nest or growing up to adulthood or even into an old age, such as Rosa here, whose both wings and legs were broken when a poacher took her from the nest. The trade and captivity in this area causes much suffering. The suffering extends to people too. One of the villagers, against the wishes of the leaders and the forestry department, continued to rob chicks. One day, while climbing a nest tree, he made a mistake and fell. He died at the base of the nest tree, as did one of the macaw chicks he had stolen. This was a heartache for the villagers, for they had lost a friend, a family member, as well as one of their beloved parrots. One day we went to visit the nest tree where he died. People gathered around and cried and prayed and listened to the story of the man's and the parrot's death. I began to sing. I add my breath to your breath that I did. Looking down at one end of the tree was death, but as I craned my neck upward, I saw a beautiful giant of a tree and imagined the family of macaws up there playing and roosting in the years to come. I could not hate this man who had died any more than I could the macaws or other poachers or anyone. Out of death and loss comes life and love and family arises. We cannot choose who is in our family or in the family of life, but we can choose how we interact with those whom we share our lives and planet. By calling all into the family, you choose the conservationist way. That chant that I sang, it affirmed that all belong to this family and that our work as conservationists is to strive in joy so that the days of all beings may be long. Please join with me on the conservationist way. Listen how nature calls to you and respond. Cultivate and nurture practices that nurture you so that you can nourish others. Repeat this, I am beautiful and I belong. You can also help on the conservationist way by doing these practices, starting a Nurture Nature practice group, which you can find more information at these websites. And if you're able to offer your resources of time and experience, as well as your financial donations. Do this if you can for the people and parrots of Honduras. They barely have enough to eat 
or medications for them or their children or the parents. But they are strong and they are conservationists. And by standing with them in solidarity, you too will be nurtured. Thank you.